to. Okay. You, we, we can black you out if you want. Right. It's up to you. Hey. Hey, Adam. Hey. I did bring an air tank. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Think this is something? Who knows what's inside there once the snow is all gone? Actually, this is an S10 just like mine and yours. It wasn't a new body style, but the box is. But the oh. dash is like old body style. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And first then the gen, wheels yeah. are like first gen style. Yeah. So I think, who knows what they. Looks good so far. I don't know. Generations of S10s are pretty much interchangeable. Or? Yeah. All right, Emmett. All right, thanks. Again, thanks. See you later. All right. So it begins. I mean, they definitely used pretty much a whole S10 because the the firewall is there. Like they use like the S10 firewall. They probably just cut, yeah, drop this body on top, which is kind of whatever, I guess. Yeah, like I didn't expect the stock dash to be in and everything like that. Yeah, that kind of I don't like that. But <laughs> do you know a guy that retrofits yeah. dash? <laughs> like it wouldn't be the worst fucking thing in the world. What, with that box on there? I mean, you could, I suppose, kind of make it look decent. You could do things to that You know, too. but I don't know. It's just, like Mike said, if you were to put those step shavers on the back, got rid of those lumpy things, and then in the front did something. Lumpy. Wow, like how it sticks out. If you got rid of the fender lips, too, and made that smooth. Yeah, so well. So you wouldn't even necessarily notice, filled the tail light holes, the different tail lights. Like, I mean, you could, I don't know. I like it looks nice, but it looks, to me, it doesn't look quite right because it doesn't, you know what I mean? To me, the, different the era two box. eras don't fit together good. Yet, yet I've seen like C10, like square body, 68 square bodies with like Old body step style. side Chevy yeah. truck boxes That's on them common. and they look good. Like it actually Jeez. looks pretty good. We could probably get this thing running and like go for a ride in it. Do you know what I mean? Like if everything's there, the firewall, the, I bet you we put a battery in it probably starts right up and then drive away in it. He's got the window molded in on the side. Dang. Stickers glued to the back there. <laughs> Those bow tie tail pipes? Yeah, maybe. Or little doubles. Classic. Cool in here. Shout out to Adam at A3 Towing. 
Yeah. From the left, thank you. If you're local, you need a tow. Official flat deck of the SPP. Cool. The windows are in here. What? The door glasses are right here. That's the door glass. Then there should be a vent, right? So here's the door glasses. Hmm. I was lifting on the grill at first. Huh. Oh, wow. It's all there. How do we see? Oh, there's even a battery in the thing. Long frozen and dead, but. Oh, fan. They didn't do a terrible job yeah. connecting the firewall. Over there is a little. Well, it needs patching put in. It's even got the air conditioning still. Well, Clayton needs AC. Electric fan. I need AC. I like AC. Hmm. Look how cool this hood is. There's the wipers. Factory <coughs> wipers. That would take some finagling there, eh? So that's not. Wow, well, we did. Yeah. There's a bunch of like miscellaneous small Vin? things. So the S10 floor is in here. Your headlight trim? Or at least part of it. Looks like. Maybe that's just the firewall. Oh, no, it's got most of the original floor. Shit outside. So they like extended the box? You can see on the inside there. There's no. like a piece <laughs> welded in. Or just welded on. Hmm. I don't know. They did something. It must be yeah. extended. Yeah. Maybe An extended they did. cab truck. Armrest. Factory armrest. This will take inside. So that they can we can go through it. You only have one door lock and that's it. Found the original door lock, the little cover, and you know. That's pretty cool. See how it doesn't have a door lock? No door lock, but it has one on that side. Because back in the old days, they only had a lock on the passenger side. Why? Because you're supposed to get in from the passenger side because that's the safe side that's when you're parked. Or let your dame and in And then first. you let your lady in that side and she unlocks the door for you. <laughs> Either one of those. It would be nice if the headlight rings were there. Maybe we should French the headlights in custom style. Sure. Something like that. Just because we don't have the rings. Get some big uh, LED ones. I had a set of... <laughs> oh, those wouldn't... Well, I had a set of, I think, 55 Chevy ones. Doors work good. Open and close really nice. I like how, the, I just love how the door wraps around. Like look at how much rock, like room you have here. And then the door actually wraps right around. That's super, super cool. Yeah, pretty solid. Yeah, you can see they use like part of the tunnel from the S10 and they kind of fabbed it in there. Ooh. Gotta say so far, it's definitely uh, exceeding expectations. Really didn't know what to expect. Home. New home. Right next to uh buddy there. So we uh we'll grab that box and yeah. go on the grand garage. Garage. What do you think? It's gonna be a nice cruiser. <laughs> Low rider or something. <laughs> yeah, I think your dad's pretty excited. I found the lights, turn signal front lights. They're actually in really good shape too. Looks like they used to be chrome and someone painted, painted them black, but they're both here. We've got the rear view mirror. It's kind of rusty, but you know what? Could probably Tina. sandblast that. The not original, the glass though. Original, not the glass. The original gas pedal. And then I guess this is one of the heating ducts. I think there's two of them. Go those. up in the dash, which since the dash has been butcherized, we don't probably need those. Those are not out of the S10. They're older than that. These are like from the GTO, like that style. Yeah. Well, what's the date? We make a belt out of that. 1968? Huh. I think. It says 68. I'm pretty sure mine say 71 on them. Wow, those are cool. Really nice shape too. The GM buttons and everything. Here's what we found. We got the outside door handles here. The inside door handles here. Window cranks. 
and then the crank mechanisms are here and I think these are hood hinges and of course this is to open the doors the armrests which the bases are good material isn't so good this is a Ford anybody knows what this is for it's from Ford kind of a backup light from some old something bunch of old seat belts that are not for this 69 and yeah. then these are wiper arms and we found a grinder we should, plug it in. we should plug it in and see what happens Does it spin no, it's frozen maybe frozen might work lots of odds and ends that we might have had a hard time finding so that's good a little bit of evapor rust and these things look like brand new so the other thing we did before we got the truck this morning we made another stop by one of our buddies place who had some parts that he thought Riley might be interested in. And what did you get, Riley? Got a new 92 millimeter uh, throttle body. So, that'll be sweet. Sweet. And then, also got some 42 pound. 42 pound, like 8.1 liter. Just injectors. Marine style injectors. Yeah, so. Right now, or we were planning on sticking with the decaps, but I don't have like a flow rate number for them. Oh, so. is that what you need in there? Is that what? In this? Oh, we can't show that on camera. No? That's <laughs> that, that stuff secret. With the decaps, I didn't have like a flow um, number exactly to put in. I just we put just in like 70 or something. 80, I think, right? <clears throat> 80 was, pounds an hour? It was 70. 70? Yeah. So now hopefully. It'll be more accurate with the two. Yeah, right. if that's not right, that can cause a lot of problems. Yeah. And we're just finishing mm -hmm. putting our snap rings on the trunnion upgrade. Yeah. More videos to come, trying to save that grinder. Well, I think the reason it's not spinning is because this button is just stuck. The lock button for taking the, like it. Unless the motor is seized up. We might have to just plug it in and see what happens. Don't put it like that, it'll spin around and cut your well, ankle off. The guard on it. No, it doesn't do shit. It doesn't even try to go eh. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, we'll let it sit here and let it thaw unless it's just frozen, but it could be rusted solid. That's cool. Turbo right here on the other side of the sheet. Yeah, and then we can just put the exhaust behind there, but not actually cut it out. It'll just vent through there. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't melt in it. Well, would that work? It's a 51. It's a 51? Yeah. And then there's a bunch of paint codes and other things. So yeah. what's different from a 50 to 50? Because back then they changed shit like every There year. might be slight differences. That's hard to say. I wanted to check if the brakes work. <laughs> oh yeah, they're mint. Like there's brakes like you wouldn't believe. We gotta put a battery in this thing and go drive it. That'll be next episode, I next, think. Next episode. Oh, nice. Look at this nice job they did. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'd have to close that off. Because I think they wanted to maintain <laughs> the like seat brackets. Yeah. So they just, I mean, that's not gonna fly. Oh, there's another, there's a screwdriver in there. And a uh, center console. Yeah. S10 yeah, center console. Huh. Wow. Don't look a uh, shit horse in the ass. That's what we say around here. Usually. <laughs>